My name is Frank and thank you for joining us. There's a question that we most commonly get quite a bit is, you know, how affordable is distilled water or what's the cost of distilled water, uh, your own, uh, your own uh, distiller versus buying at the store? Well, buying at the store, first of all, there's a couple of things that happen there is that uh, you don't have total security is in that it is what it says it is as well. And let's just say it's totally pure and it is exactly distilled water. Then it's held in a plastic container, which is a petroleum product. So you're kind of diluting the effect of distilled water because you're compromising uh, that water to begin with. Not only that, but that uh, gallon bottle of uh, jar of or bottle of distilled water in plastic weighs 8.33 pounds. And by the way, I before I started drinking distilled water, I started buy I bought it. So uh, if any of you are doing that, don't feel so bad. I did it myself 27, 28 years ago. Realized several, several problems with that. One is, is that you run out of it all the time when you think you need it. And, and two is it's so heavy. If, there's, if, if, if five of us in the house are supposed to be drinking around a gallon of water a day, that's five times 8.33. That's what uh, a gallon of water weighs. So that's 40, 45, four gallons of, uh, of, of water that I have to be lugging in every day. Not only that, but the cost of water can be anywhere from maybe you can find it if you're lucky in some place it costs maybe 89 cents or 84 cents. In most cases, it's, cl it's close to a dollar and then it's compromised because it's in plastic. By the way, if you are buying that, you're better off than drinking the tap water or, or raw water or more than likely or filtered water. So. I'm not going to try to discourage you. I'm just trying to encourage you to take one more step and buy a distiller, really. But uh, when you drink th that, that distilled water, again, it, sometimes they put uh, minerals added for taste. Well, it's not because the distilled water tastes bad, because it really has no, initially it has no taste. Later on, it's the taste of sweetness. But the reason they say that is, is they're adding basically dirt, so you can't taste the plastic. And you also have to uh, be concerned about the label that's on it, its expiration date, because the longer it's been there, uh, uh, the more contaminated it's going to be. You also have a concern is what's its exposure to sunlight, because the greater exposure to sunlight that you have, the more of the petroleum product is going to be in your water, and therefore they have to add more minerals for taste or dirt, so you can't taste the plastic. So we're talking about, let's just say about an average of a dollar. Now, if you buy your distiller, for those people who are accountants or those people who count their dollars like I do and most people do now, or cents, because that's what we're talking about, it's going to cost you anywhere from probably anywhere in the United States, because the prices vary per kilowatt hour, anywhere from probably 18 to about 24 cents, 23 cents per gallon to make. So you're talking about 23 cents, 24 cents at its high to, to a dollar at its average. That's a great savings that you're going to have. Plus you have control of your product and you have it already there. You're not going to have to lug around these bottles. If, if I went for seven days at 40, 40 pounds per day, oh, that's close to 300 pounds, 280 pounds. And in the wintertime, we're in Minnesota. Boy, you can slip real easy and you're in big trouble. So it's, that's really one of, the, one of the many reasons why I went to get my own distiller. And that's why I'd encourage you to get your own. You're going to find out that it's a lot expensive. And if you're a business, just show the, uh, give us a call. We can give you figures. And you can show your accountant how you're making money by not buying distilled water, but by making your own distiller. And you have a greater guarantee of a great product. Hard distillers, by the way, when you look at them, can last 20, 40, 60 years. They're stainless steel, and they're made in the United States. We thank you for tuning in to waterdistillers.com and drink distilled water.